Interactive Fill and Mesh Tool. In this lesson, we will see about two fill tools, Interactive Fill Tool and Interactive Mesh Tool. Let's see first about Interactive Fill Tool. Interactive Fill helps to fill objects with gradient colors. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is G. Let's see how this tool works. For that, I am going to draw an object shape here on the page. Choose Interactive Fill Tool and click on the object and drag the mouse without leaving the left mouse button. You can adjust the gradient flow by adjusting the rectangular button. Let's see the properties. Properties of Interactive Tool are Edit Fill. This option helps to edit the fill. When you click this icon, Fountain Fill window will be opened. Here you can adjust all the values to give respective gradient color effect. Fill Type This option provides a list containing different types of fill type. Now you can easily choose fill type from here. Fill Dropdown and Last Fill Picker Here we can specify two colors. They are Start and End colors for gradient effect. Fountain Fill Midpoint Fountain Fill Angle and Edge Pad. The value of midpoint, angle and edge pad can be adjusted for fountain fill. Now let's see about Mesh Fill. Mesh Fill helps to apply color to the interaction points of rows and columns. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is M. Let's discuss it with an example to get a better understanding. Draw any shape. OK, let's take a square. Now, choose Mesh Fill Tool. Click on the object. Here you can easily see rows and columns, or grids with nodes. Click on any of the nodes and choose Color from Color Docker. The respective color will be filled in the object. Let's take a look at Properties. Properties of Mesh Fill Tool. Grid Size. This option helps in changing the number of rows and columns. Selection Mode Two options are available for the selection mode, freehand or rectangular. Add intersection and delete nodes. These options help in addition and deletion of nodes. Convert curve to line and line to curve. This option helps in converting grid as line if it's curve or as curve if it's line. Make node a cusp, smooth, symmetrical, etc. These are some of the options to edit node in mesh. Curve smoothness can be adjusted. You can copy mesh fill properties of some other objects to your object. You can clear the mesh by using the clear mesh option. Thus, that interactive mesh fill can give you real facial gradient effects. Artistic Media Tools This is the Artistic Media Tool. It helps us to draw drawings by using tools like presets, brush, sprayer, calligraphic and pressure. The keyboard shortcut for this tool is I. Let's see how we can use this tool. Choose Artistic Media Tool from Toolbox. Click Presets. Here is calligraphic brush style list. Choose any brush style and draw. Here are properties like freehand smoothing, artistic media tool width, and preset stroke list. Other option is brush. Here are some of the options and presets for brush. Choose as per your choice and draw. Properties for brush are freehand smoothing, Artistic Media Tool Width, and Browse and Preset Stroke List. Next is Sprayer. Properties for Sprayer contains Freehand Smoothing, Size of the Object to be Sprayed, Browse, Preset Stroke List, Choice of Spray Order, with three options, Randomly, Sequentially, and By Direction, Spray List Dialog, Dabs and spacing of objects to be sprayed. Rotation and offset. 
Here you can specify rotation, angle and spacing between spray symbols. Artistic Media Tool helps in decorating our work with presets, brushes and sprayers designed.